Good morning and welcome to Heartland Dual Sport. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you seven reasons why the Garmin GPS is one of the best motorcycle GPS units to have, along with some bonus content. So let's get to the video. Good morning and again, thanks for tuning in to Heartland Dual Sport. If you're new to the channel, my name's Dale and I'll be your host here on Heartland Dual Sport. In today's video, I'm going to be addressing some of the questions that we've gotten over the past year. I know that a lot of people have watched almost all of our videos. You can see the Garmin Zumu in my screen because that's my Garmin, that's my GPS of choice. And I've got some great news for you. I'm going to share seven things that I believe make this the most awesome motorcycle GPS as well as some as the bonus content. So watch till the end so you can figure out how to not only save money on the GPS, but you'll be able to save money on your trips. Number one, the Garmin unit is real small. Now, why is that important? It's because as you guys know, we don't have a lot of real estate on a KLR or a motorcycle. However, what I'm willing to tell you is even though it's a small unit and it's compact, it is very easy to see. Even though it's a smaller unit, you've got this much bigger screen that you can actually see. Even if your eyes are starting to degrade like mine, it's tough for me to see the small print stuff like that, but it's so much easier to see on this. Another thing, while we're talking about it, this touch screen is also glove friendly. So if you have one of the motorcycle riding glo gloves, like uh, the ones that I've been wearing, you can still use the touch screen. Touch screen makes it so much easier when you're trying to search for stuff also. Another benefit about this is it's actually rechargeable. So you can, you can wire this straight to your battery on your motorcycle. And on the back, there's a pin connection system to where it's gonna be recharging your unit. Now where this comes in really handy is say that you're at your house. So you're in your office and you're trying to plan out a trip to Michigan. You can come in here and you can go through and do day by day trips how far you want to go and have them already loaded so when you get ready to go you just click to the where to and then you'll scan, scan down to like day two Michigan and it'll take you from wherever you've already pre-planned to your next destination for day two. The other benefit about this being rechargeable, you can pull it off your motorcycle just like we got here. And say you're in Michigan and you're at your tent and you're camping off your motorcycle, you can look, take this to camp with you. You don't have to stand there beside your motorcycle, but you can sit down in the shade. You can pull up places to go eat. You can pull up any kind of attractions that are in that area as well along with historical facts, they're already preloaded into the map. And that brings us up to one of the next thing. It's real easy to connect this to Wi-Fi. So with your, they have another little Garmin app that you can download to your cell phone. And this will connect to your cell phone and your headset. So if you like me and you like listening to your music, but you still wanna get your turn by turn directions in your helmet, it's very, very easy to go ahead and sync this up with not only your helmet, but your cell phone. The advantages to having it connected to your cell phone are that you will be getting live traffic updates. So if you guys that have heard of that app like Waze or whatever it's called to where they'll tell you if there's a speed trap up ahead or an accident up ahead or uh, road construction up ahead. Your GPS will get all that and it can help you reroute around any kind of accident, stuff like that, which in turn will save you time. The other awesome benefit about this GPS, and I'm sure you guys have noticed, if you watch our other channel, Heartland Makes and Outdoors, I use this thing in my Jeep just as much as I do my motorcycle because I don't, all, I'm, I don't always take trips on my motorcycle. I do a lot of trips in my Jeep as well. The other great thing, again, you, it's touch screen, so you hop up in the Jeep, you hit the where to. You can easily follow the GPS to whatever destination you're going to. This thing has paid dividends for me, especially since we moved to Texas, because I'm not real familiar with Texas like I was 
Oklahoma, and I use this thing constantly. It's so much easier. I know that you guys can use your cell phone for mapping. As many of you know, the KLR's got a little bit of a vibration to it, and I've actually ruined the camera in my phone. And I, and I can attest to that. That's another great thing about this Garmin GPS is the vibrations are not going to affect this unit. This unit was made to be bulletproof. It is somewhat waterproof. I think they call it IP7, which means that you can ride in the rain. If you guys watch our either one of the road trips that we took all the way to the East Coast and back or up to Michigan and back last year, we went through several rainstorms. And that's another reason that I always wait to do a full review on any kind of product we use because I want to run it through its paces. Another great thing about this Garmin Zumu XT, it was specifically designed for motorcycles. You can go in the settings when you're mapping stuff and you can avoid tolls, you can avoid highways, you can avoid interstates or any of that stuff and get yourself truly on back road destinations that you wouldn't ordinarily take. And that makes it a lot more fun because you're gonna be going through little towns that you've never even heard of. You're gonna be going through little ghost towns. You're gonna to be seeing a lot of historical markers and it's just another fun way to actually get out and explore. And I love how they have it all built into this GPS. You're not committed to an interstate. You're not committed to the, the big four lane, six lane highways or whatever. You can actually go in here and it will program routes to take you on the back roads. Speaking of back roads, it does have a fair amount of off-road tracks like your Jeep trails and stuff like that. It's got a bunch of that stuff already preloaded in here. It's got your county roads. Any of those roads that are somewhat maintained, they're already preloaded into this as far as the mapping software. David, look at this. There's some more ponds up here. You're just not going to see that by taking the main interstates. Look at this pond to your left, would you? Did no trespassing or anything? Hey, check this out. We could fish right here off this bridge and the, well, the creek's kind of dried up. We might catch crawdads. I don't know if you guys remember, at one time we were using the Magellan TR5. The problem with the TR5 is you can, it's not user intuitive. You can't go in and it's got all your off-roads on it, which is cool if that's all you do. But if you're trying to get from point A to B to the next off-road route, this thing's not going to help you at all. And that's one of the things I never really did like about this is it's just not user friendly. It, it's basically a GPS and I can promise you from holding my 64 ST next to this unit. And again, this is the Magellan and why I'm saying that this Garmin is so much better, but you can use the Magellan TR5 and I, I used my Garmin 64 ST because I know it's an accurate map. Again, it's made by Garmin. And this one would be showing you roads where you could turn left on, on off-road stuff that weren't there. However, up here to the right, and I'm gonna pan over here, there's just simply no road there. And my Garmin 64 ST along with this Garmin Zumu if it tells you roads there, it's there. And this, that's why you've never seen me do a video on this one. I can't recommend this one. I cannot recommend the Magellan TR5 or 7 because it simply doesn't work like it should. And I'm trying to save you guys some money because this, this unit here again was like four or 500 bucks. And I, I, there's a reason you don't see a video on it. And then number seven, the one thing that I truly love about this thing is you can set this up, say you're hungry, um, you can go in here and you can look for, on your route, while you're already riding, you can go in there and have it set up to where it'll pop up. Uh, next gas station is X amount of miles away. Next place to eat is X amount of miles away. And it will go ahead and when you start getting to those locations, it'll show you how close it is to the route you're on as far as gas stations, places to eat and stuff like that. That's a wonderful tool. It helps you keep on task, helps you keep on target, especially if you guys are trying to make a lot of miles in one day. 
you're not going to be driving around looking for a place to eat or a place to get gas or how far is it to the next gas station. You know, I, I think instead of getting off right now, I'm going to go ahead and make those other 30 miles and get gas there while I'm already in the groove and we're making good time. So there's a lot of great things about this. Now, as mentioned at the very beginning of this video, I told you there was going to be three bonus ways that you, this unit can help you save money. Number one, as you cross over the state lines, it's going to pop up and tell you helmet laws. Guys, I know the majority of you are already wearing helmets, but it'll go over helmet laws, eye protection laws, that kind of stuff. So that way, say, say you get to a, a state park and you know you're going to run, take a shower or whatever, you'll know it right off the bat if you have to be wearing your helmet just to ride a half a mile up to the bathhouse or whatever it is you're going to do. You'll know, you'll know the state laws. The next thing, which is probably the biggest one that I truly love, down in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, it's gonna be showing you your speed. It will also show you the speed limit, and on your speed, if you're speeding, it flashes up red to let you know that you've gone over the speed limit. Where this comes into play is you start rolling into some of these small towns and the speed limit drops from 55 down to 35 or whatever. Before it drops down to 35, you're gonna get a yellow speed sign right up above your, your speed that you're doing. And that lets you know, hey, we've got, a, we've got a speed limit change coming up ahead. Go ahead and start slowing down now. That way you, you're less likely to get a ticket for speeding using this because it actually will help you know what the speed limits are constantly. And I've gotten so used to looking at this thing that, um, it's actually kind of comical because if, if I, every now and again, I'll use my phone to GPS somewhere new and, and I'm waiting on it to update and tell me what the speed limit is. My phone doesn't do it, but this thing does. It'll spoil you guys. It'll keep you out of trouble, save you money and tickets, and it'll save you all the way around. Now then, you may be asking yourself along with this, why we're doing it now. Guys, I know that this thing's expensive. It retails for $4.99. And one of the things that I'm excited to tell you about right now, if you click the link down below, it's going to take you to Amazon and it's currently on sale for $3.99. That actually puts this unit into a lot more people's hands, if you will, because it's $100 off. If you guys remember when I bought this, I told you guys then that I bought it on a $100 off coupon. They're on sale again. I know that a lot of you guys really, really wanted it for that $3.99. And that's why I'm doing the video today. I wanted to be able to give you a full review on, the, on this, why I love it, why I think it's so great, and then also let you know that it is on sale. Again, when I'm not on my motorcycle, I've, got, I've purchased the additional mount for my Jeep. And here's something else that I'm actually excited about. Garmin makes lake maps too. And I have recently sent Garmin customer service a question wanting to know why I can't load their lake maps into this because there is an SD or a micro SD card slot in this unit to where you can download waypoints and, and create maps yourself if you guys like doing that. But I'm hoping that they will help me get the lake maps put on this. You guys know on my other channel we do a lot of fishing, we do a lot of hunting, we do a lot of stuff. But we also do kayak fishing and if we could take this from the motorcycle to the jeep now to our kayak this thing would be the true mccoy game saving deal for all your gps needs and i hope that garmin will reply and help me get it to where we can get the map typo maps for the lake put on this unit as well Again, guys, we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. The link for this unit will be down below. Again, if you don't know, it is an affiliate link. You won't see any difference in what you pay for the deal, but you're going to be helping our little channel out. And guys, we appreciate each and every one of you. We thank each and every one of you for all of your help along the way. And whether it be clicking on some of our links down below, I know some of you have actually donated money through our website. Guys, we, we appreciate you doing that. And that's our whole channel set up to help others and I truly believe in this unit or I wouldn't be sharing it with you again I hope that Garmin will watch this video and add the typo maps for the lakes to this one as well again we appreciate your likes comments and subscribes may you have a blessed week and let's go ride <laughs> <laughs>